the campfire. If you see the air around right now, it looks like a uh, like a war zone, a little post-apocalyptic. Uh, that's due to the campfire. The campfire started eight hours before the Woolsey fire, and it lasted 17 days. It's the most dangerous and most destructive wildfire in California history, and it's the fourth deadliest in U.S. history. Except on the news, we heard way more about the Woolsey Fire. Which is crazy, because just to put in perspective, the Woolsey Fire burned 1,600 buildings and three lives were lost. The campfire burned 18,793 buildings and 85 lives were lost. The television reports um, simply don't do it justice. Filbert, I don't, I'm like lost here because this, it's unrecognizable here. The entire town of Paradise was completely destroyed, and the videos and images of the fire was straight out of the movie. Until you actually look at the people that were affected and what's left up there in Paradise, you don't really see it as real. This is it. This is the hottest it's gonna get! Man is no match for nature. Paradise is gone. Paradise is lost. And it's getting close to Chico. There's about 100,000 people in Chico. <laughs> Get out of Chico. I don't know. But from what I heard, Paradise, California no longer exists. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. It was awful. People trying to drive out of their neighborhoods while their cars are surrounded by flames. I mean, we had to drive. I could feel the heat in my car as I'm driving. It's getting hot. Okay, keep your windows rolled up. I can't see. I can't either, but we're okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. People having to run out of town on foot, but because of all the smoke, they didn't know if they were running away from or toward the flames. 15 year old kids that dad didn't know where to go, just started throwing people in the truck. It was crazy, yet all I heard about when I turned on the news was the Woolsey fire. So why was that? Well, right as people started talking about campfire on Twitter, a lot of pictures and videos were being released of what people thought were direct energy weapons. People were also questioning, how did this fire happen? Why did it spread so fast? Why weren't people evacuated? The town councilman says only about one in eight people told them they got a mass notification that day. How did this become such a huge disaster with no warning? So you got no phone call? No. You got no alert on your cell phone? Now. There's a lot of people, they didn't even have time to get their stuff, and those that did, they had very limited, very limited time. All of those things combined created a lot of conspiracies. And then right when people started tweeting about it, and those pictures of the direct energy weapons were going viral, boom, the Woolsey fire. And the Woolsey fire isn't just any old fire, it's a fire that started right in a neighborhood where all the big celebrities live. And you know how much the news loves celebrities. A lot of celebrities have also lost their homes as the fire rages on. Celebrities who live in the fire-ravaged areas have been sharing their own stories on social media. We haven't been told to evacuate just yet. Several other celebrities, including Alyssa Milano, Rain Wilson, and Cher. After Gerard Butler posted this video on Snapchat of what's left. Man, I ain't never seen a fire in my fucking life. Dick posted this photo on Instagram. That is extremely scary. I've never seen anything like that. Miley Cyrus also lost her home. So, of course, now the whole world is about. We'll see. It's not you think they got fires in the hood in Carroll City, bitch? Irish American actor Pierce Brosnan. This is footage of the home of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star. Hey, low key, I'm kind of scared. Her animals made it out safely. Welcome to my home in Malibu. Oh, my backyard is literally on fire. I swear to God. Holy shit. Charlie, we're fine. We're at Duma Beach. Ah! Get the fuck out! Bitch! Bitch, get out! And a few hours later, it's like campfire didn't even happen. And all of the conspiracies and questions about it started to disappear because everyone wanted to know, is Kim and Kanye's house okay? Heavenly Father, please help us. There was an image of this giraffe that I guess everyone knows there, Stanley the giraffe in Malibu. It really stirred up, you know, there were celebrities tweeting about Stanley and... Please help us to be safe. People are concerned. What can you tell us about Stanley? Well, Stanley is kind of an infamous giraffe. If you go on Instagram, very, very popular. I wasn't able to actually meet Stanley the giraffe because Kylie Jenner was there.
Don't know if the house made it or not.